okay uh, so this is the first video of the series here uh, i'll explain how to configure eclipse on uh, your environment and on your uh, operating system so that you can create uh, core and advanced java applications and you can work on data using eclipse fine so we will require two things first we will require this eclipse uh, say exe or a zipped file that you can easily get uh, once you search on google download eclipse luna fine so for 32 bit you can download and for 64 bit you can download then you can uh, unzip the respective version on which you want to work fine so say for example my machine is 64 bit so i unzipped this fine and uh, this is the eclipse on which i'm going to work <coughs> fine so before starting with this eclipse you need to make sure that your environment variable is set now what do we mean by that environment variable environment variable uh, uh, say there is an environment variable called path environment variable in your my computer so when you right click on your my computer you go to properties right here you will find advanced system settings <coughs> under environment variables you can find path environment variable here or you can find path environment variable here itself fine so in any of the two you need to set your path environment variable this variable should have a value like say for example if i remove my path environment variable and uh, if i click ok fine i can find it in uh, c drive when i go to program files java jdk folder within that bin you need to copy that directory location from here so just copy it then you can go to advanced system settings again environment variable click on new give it a name say path and the value value must be the one that i copied i'll paste it here i'll click ok ok again and ok again now my path environment variable is set means java all java files that are available into this folder now they are uh, visible to entire computer system so i can store my projects anywhere once your path environment variable is set then you can go to eclipse fine so here is my eclipse i will double click on this my eclipse will start fine so very first thing that it ask about a workspace so this workspace is your folder location or directory where all your files will be stored so i'm creating my workspace with name workspace 1 in workspace 1 i'm creating a directory with name demo so in c drive if this folder workspace is not existing it will create that and within that it will create a folder with name demo right so i'll click ok this will uh, start loading my workspace and when i go to c drive now i can find this workspace one over here within that i can find this demo find so all my projects will be stored here hereafter once it is opened right so here it is my workspace is opened here right so this is called the welcome page you can simply close this or you can click on this workbench from both the options you will go to the workbench only so i'll close this this is my workbench fine so this workbench is collection of different type of perspectives every perspective possesses some of the properties say for example when i go to window open perspective here when i go to other <coughs> i'll find these are total number of perspectives available fine so i can work on uh, different technologies using different type of perspectives say for example if i want to work on core java i'll go to java if i want to work on advanced java i'll go to j 2 e right or java ee perspective which is the default one or i can go to web perspective also similarly if you want to work on data you can go to database development right so i'll keep my perspective as java and i'll click ok so from here you can change your perspective okay then this is your workbench right so here we can easily create a new project called dynamic web project 
see there are two type of uh, web projects fine so we can create a static web project or we can create a dynamic web project so i'm going to create a dynamic web project because i will uh, create some of the servlets and jsp files and uh, we'll see the interactions between them so for that i'll go to file i'll go to new i can click on this dynamic web project now this is not the only option available you can go to this arrow then you can click on dynamic web project or you can right click under project explorer you can go to new you can click on dynamic web project by all three ways you'll get a new dynamic web project wizard to be opened here so i'm creating a new project with name demo pro or oh, see demo project itself right runtime we do not have any runtime right now fine and this is what a dynamic web module version i'm selecting 2.5 so that web.xml file will be created automatically now what do you mean by web.xml i'll uh, come to that fine so and why it is required so i can directly click finish this will create a new dynamic web project named demo pro on my workspace right so when i go to my workspace now say in uh, c drive workspace i can find this project is created right now to run any of the core java applications we do not require any of the server fine because all the libraries are available on my own machine but to run advanced java applications we require some of the web server right so to add servers i can go to this servers view <coughs> then i can go to no servers are available so you can click on this to create a new server or you can right click anywhere you can go to new you can go to server so before adding the server we will require one so that server is available in uh, my system i already downloaded this apache tomcat version 7 and 8 so you can do the same you can go to apache website and uh, you can download this very easily fine after downloading i just right clicked on this and i said extract here so i have got this folder right so this is the folder where my server is available so i'll right click here i'll go to new i'll go to server then i go to apache my version was 7 so i'll select tomcat version 7 then next here you need to select the same directory so i'll uh, browse in my case it is available in d drive in your case it may be in some other drive so here is my server fine so make sure to click on this unzipped folder right then click okay and click finish now this server is added but 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 this server is not added here on your project build path <coughs> fine so this the server is not available here now how does it makes a difference for example if i create a new servlet here with some num some name say servlet 1 if i am creating fine it will generate some errors fine and those errors are what this http servlet http servlet request http servlet response they are not resolved it it does not knows what do we mean by this http servlet this class is not accessible fine so to make it accessible i will right click on my project i will go to build path i'll go to configure build path and under libraries tab i will add library this library is what server runtime which is your apache tomcat server right so all these files are available on apache tomcat server itself so these files are now visible to your system fine this is how you can create a new dynamic web project on 